Hi there, I'd like to give you a short demonstration of the FastSync Bit Error Rate Tester, which is a Windows PC based application that utilizes the FastSync Flex to diagnose line quality of both synchronous and asynchronous lines. FastSync BERT not only supports the standard capabilities that you'd expect to find on external BERT devices, but also offers the benefits of being a PC based solution. The user interface, for example, is both rich and easy to use, but is also highly configurable. So for example, to configure the rate, we just use the, the rate control. Here's a test running at 128K, but we're not just restricted to the default value shown on the control. We can in fact change any of them to any rate that is supported by the flex. So let's change the value at that position from 128K to 96K. Start the test and you can see the new value shown is the rate being obtained. Let's just take a quick look at how you get the FastSync BERT up and running. So I've plugged in the Flex, inserted the CD and the Flex appears here in Device Manager. We then just need to run the BERT's own setup program and when that completes the BERT automatically runs and we can position it as required. By default the FastSync BERT will start up in this compact mode which will allow you to quickly start the test and get any indications of errors on the line. If I remotely inject some errors here, you'll see the error count go up and the loss of sync indicator become highlighted temporarily. At any point, we can use the statistics table button to bring up a full table of counters and rates that have been measured for the current test. With regard to configuration, the technique that we demonstrated earlier with the rate control and selecting a different set of values for that, uh, the same thing can be done with both the length and pattern options. The actual interface configuration is simply done by selecting an interface type, V35, X21, etc. and selecting between external and internal clocking. The actual rate is selected by the rate control as we demonstrated earlier. There's a different set of rates that are appropriate for synchronous or asynchronous interfaces and as such when you uh, switch between synchronous and asynchronous modes you'll notice that the rate values change on the dial um, and these are completely configured via the uh, configuration table we saw earlier where there's one set for synchronous and one set for asynchronous values. Other options include the ability to inject errors, toggle DTE signals, switch between different error count modes etc. I hope you found this demonstration useful and do visit us at farsight.com for all the latest product information from Farsight Communications.